beautiful, and I'm proud to call you my daughter. I so much love hearing your giggle that comes from deep inside, and I will truly miss not hearing that at home. Justin, if you haven't noticed, Jeannie is a daddy's girl and a farm girl. Please do not take that completely away from her. But at the same time, Dale and I release her to you today. Receive her as a beautiful gift from God and from us. And we receive you into our hearts as a son. you guys. Um, it does shame me to say that for some reason it took a lot of convincing for me to want to be your friends. I don't normally do that with people but you both kind of I kind of had a negative vibe at first with you guys but thankfully you were both full of enough grace and, and kindness to win me over. Jeannie, although we have been friends longer, technically I have known Justin a little longer. I say no but I more or less knew of uh, it was one of those situations where our moms were best friends and so they would get together just enough where it was awkward enough for us kids who didn't really know each other and while they were just chatting we had to try to play games even though we don't know the kids. So when you came to work for us at the mill, I would be lying if I didn't say that I groaned a little because not you weren't a bad guy but I just had that connection of an awkward feeling with you and I, it was going to be miserable, I knew it. But it only took about two weeks and that quickly changed because Justin, you were one of the most respectful and hardworking and kind 16 year olds that I'd ever met. And um, I remember just being blown away with how mature you were for your age and the way you put your heart into your job and the people around you. Now granted, you weren't perfect. I did have to teach you a few lessons like uh, just how not okay it is to throw a whole shovel full of oats on someone um, and that when you do talk to someone and make eye contact they're not looking into your soul. Um, but I am so proud of you and um, the way that you charge life and you just take what comes and you try to make the best of it. Um, you're very aware and you ask a lot of questions because you do care and I'm super proud of you and who you're becoming and I'm very honored to have you marry one of my best friends. Justin, do you confess and declare that you are free from all other marriage and relationship, relations and engagements whatsoever? I am. Jeannie, do you confess and declare that you are free from all other marriage, relations and engagements whatsoever? Justin, do you, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take Jeannie Hosteller, the sister by your side, to be your wedded wife? Will you love and cherish her, provide and care for her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, 
exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance toward her, live with her in peace, as becomes a faithful Christian husband, and forsaking all others, keep yourselves only unto her, as both as you long shall live. Jeannie, do you in the presence of God and these witnesses take Justin Miller, the brother by your side, to be your wedded husband? Will you love and cherish him in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity? Share with him the joys and sorrows of life. Exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance toward him. And live with him in peace as becomes a faithful Christian wife. And forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob be with you and bless this union abundantly through Jesus Christ our Lord. And what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Go forth as husband and wife, live in peace, fear God, and keep his commandments. I pronounce you husband and wife. During ancient times, agreements and promises were sealed by a salt covenant. Each person would take a pinch of salt from their pouch and place it in the pouch of the other. This agreement would not be, could not be broken unless an individual could retrieve their own grains of salt. It is a pleasure to, for me to introduce to you for the very first time, Justin, Mr. and Mr. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Justin Miller. <laughs>